I fundamentally believe that it shouldn't matter where you're born uh, to to get a best shot at education. The law kind of envisions a classroom in which there are children from different social and economic backgrounds and they're able to kind of learn together from each other's experiences. Especially for disadvantaged children, it was an opportunity to break the cycle and have choice uh, beyond the default of the public school in the neighborhood. So there are two problems for uh, families. One is less than 1% of the families who are eligible know about this policy. Secondly, even if they were to know about the policy, they lack access to the channels through which they can make full use of this policy. Indecision is a bridge between uh, the law and action on the ground. So on the community side, we have technology product which helps people gain access easily and apply easily. We also help build state capacity uh, as they move the process from an offline to kind of an online means of administering these seats. We build products uh, to ensure that the policy is administered easily and they're able to kind of reach to people more easily. As part of our work, we work on socially disadvantaged children. As of last year, uh, we've directly helped 90,000 children gain admissions under the right to education law across 11 states. Our goal is to ensure that at least 1 million out of the 2 million seats that are available are filled in the coming academic cycle. The world is going to be, in future, uh, a place where we'll have to learn to work uh, across our boundaries, across countries. It's all the more important then within kind of countries for kind of children to come together across their religious boundaries, across their caste and class boundaries, and across their gender uh, and other social boundaries. I fundamentally believe that it has to start uh, at a classroom level. 